Oh, does it take you back to that horrible, oh, exams and exam yeah. results? Yeah. How did you get on? I hated it. I hated that time because... I, I kind of knew I wanted to do music, but I was kind of doing education as, as a backup. My mum always said, listen, I'll support you in, you know, in wanting to become a musician, but it was kind of, you know, you need something as a, as a backup just in case it doesn't work. So I went there and, you know, I enjoyed education, but... I, I, it, it just no. didn't turn out. So the way GCSE I it. up to there, you were okay. Yeah. Kind of by A levels, you were thinking, I really want to go into the music business. Yeah, I kind of I got to that stage where I picked up a guitar and I kind of it, mm -hmm. it just felt right that that, yeah. that so journey. Did you I tell you what work? felt wrong, and that was Tom's results. <laughs> um, the thing about it, they're so wrong, you you'd, you would really have to work hard at getting them so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you, you know what I mean? So, I mean, there's bad luck and then there's what happened to you. Yeah. What happened to you? Well, I, um, I, I got uh, my, my offer from, from Manchester and I'd already got in on, on to my... To uni? Yeah, yeah, to uni. I got my, my offer based on my first year results, so... Your lower six results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my lower six results. So I was like, OK. And then it, it made me so motivated and then that second year... Unconditional offer. Unconditional so offer. you were in no matter what your A-level results yeah. were. and I did pretty much nothing for the rest of the <laughs> So world. what were your... Well, how many did you take? I, did, I took three and no, I, didn't I failed just get, them all. Well, he, he didn't just fail them, let's just be honest. <laughs> Come <laughs> what on, did man. you get? I got, on, three, I got three U's. Unclassified, oh, unclassified that means. Yeah. That means the mark is so low <laughs> that they can't give it a grade. Right. I had a few of those in my time. <laughs> so when you open those and your mum, who said said, listen, I'll support you in your music uh, career, but, you know, you need to do exams yeah. for backup. What was her reaction? I think she knew in the, in the back of her mind that I, I wasn't trying hard enough in, in my second year available. So uh, I think she was expecting it, but I th it still doesn't take away from the shock of, of reading yeah. them results. It's, it, I, I, I was heartbroken. But did she go, oh, darling, don't worry, you tried your best? Obviously not. Or did she say, <laughs> I can't believe you've wasted two years? What was her I reaction? I think it was a mixed reaction because she knew I was already guaranteed a place at uni. So, but obviously, at the same time, she still wanted me to, to excel and, you know, do as, as, yeah. as well as... What story did you come up with, though? That's I, I was honest to her. I said, listen, right. and even when I went for my interview at Manchester Met, because obviously they said, well, you failed your what A-levels. <laughs> yeah, I was like, um. <laughs> um, But I said, listen, because I got that offer, it kind of made me un unmotivated. So you did go? Rest. Yeah, I went Yeah, I went for a year to Manchester. Hannah, On three U's. Ultimately... <laughs> <laughs> well, there you not, are, kid. Not yeah. to be recommended. <laughs> uh, Hannah, ultimately, you help students get advice yes. that they need. How yes. busy are you going to be today? Uh, the student room is incredibly busy. Yeah. Um, August we see something like seven million unique visitors up until results day and after so there are students you know every minute of every day posting and talking about how they're feeling what they're worried about and you know a lot of that is they are concerned that they're going to be disappointing their parents um, and then obviously themselves if they don't get the grades that they've been working so hard towards. Is that one of the main things they worry about not disappointing their parents or disappointing yeah, their parents. Yeah, it's disappointing yeah. their parents, but they're not meeting their university offer if that's what they want to do. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just the realisation that all of their hard work, um, <coughs> is it going to pay off or not? Now, we'll talk about what students can do, but what about parents? So they're all waiting now and thinking, right, how are they doing? What shall I say? What shall I say? I mean, it's like walking on eggshells with teenagers most of the time anyway, let alone then. So whether they've done well or badly, but badly particularly, or not got what they were hoping for, how do you deal with that as a parent? What should you say? I think it's about asking them initially what they need from you. So they might want to spend some time with their friends um, if they're with them when they've collected their results. Um, they might just want to go and sit in their room and just process it. And cry. They are, yeah, they're so fueled by emotion, you know, it's all coming to this point and they're probably just trying to process it. They're probably a little bit sleep deprived. Um, so it's just asking them what they want and then being there for them, but also just make reassuring them that it's okay for them to feel what they're what feeling. What about the parents like like Tom's mum <laughs> who's known he really has not put the work in yeah you know we've been here for him and he hasn't put the work in and they come and say oh I'm so disappointed I've got two ungraded or a D and an E. Mm. It must be very hard not to go well what did you expect yeah. you didn't do any work how do you not show your disappointment? I think it's just putting your arm around them and asking them to kind of unravel why it is that they feel disappointed if they if mm. you know they think they, they haven't worked hard because is it but did they feel too much pressure is that why they didn't work hard is that the easier option no that's the easier excuse yeah. <laughs> I ever, no that's what everybody wants to you well, just went against you didn't work hard yeah, usually you, you find the harder you work the luckier you get folks for more of the same just click here
And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Fritches, 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 Fritches. 30 seconds left. That has to win. Darling, Darling, that has to win. That's got to go in. What about oh. your eggs, love? No, no, I'm no, not doing no, the eggs. No, I'm not doing no, eggs. No, no, all, aren't you? Eggs. She's Soft got her champagne effect. Did you notice cheese. how the champagne Stop went in first?